Hey, it's Dan Nickerson. I know I have a lot of customers using Contact Form 7 and they also create local websites. And so I wanted to show you a little trick to make a, uh, like a quote form or a contact form or a lead generation form for a local uh, website, right? So I'm right here, I'm using the top banner widget. I'm using a section short code. There's two columns, two third and one third to get this particular look. Uh, this, this form is actually in two columns as well. Uh, it is responsive. I didn't fully check it all. It's it's like, uh, you can see it's small, they're responsive. I'm gonna click on Pixel 2. So there's an, a Pixel 2, this is a Galaxy S5. On the iPad, it's a little bit crushed on the uh, this iPad look. On iPad Pro, it's a little bit better. Um, so it depends on the iPad, depending on how you set it up. But 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 long story short, it's it's basically responsive enough. Um, so it will work and function and easy to, for people to fill out. So this is what I did. So I went into Contact Form 7 and I created some custom code. And I'm actually I'm making a post right now uh, and I'm sharing all this custom code with you. So I'll, that link will be underneath the video. And so this is what I did. So I added a little style sheet. I changed the height of the message box, the width of the form. Um, if, you, if you're familiar with what I'm doing, this is advanced of course, but, but you can see how to change it. So this says get a quote. So you could change the get a quote here. You could change the submit message here. Um, I did not set up an email, but you have this code in the form, so you can just copy and drop it right into contact form seven. And then they'll give you a short code link, and you'd copy that short code link. And then it go, we go into the top banner widget, and I created a section short code, and once again, that is on this post that I'm sharing as well. And you can just drop that in here. Um, of course, my background image is not going to work, so you need your own background image. So you want to replace the background image, and you want to replace, um, obviously, some text, and you replace the contact form. And then I use visibility to show if page is front page, and that's it. Um, once you do that, you basically create this look. Um, so I can go in here, just a quick example, if I go in and change this to, you know, uh, local real estate business, right? You'll see it's gonna change live on the on the site. Just click on business, boom, 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 reload. Now it says local real estate business. And so once again, this is just a quick little demo. I'll show you how to do that. I, I've been messing around with some local designs and you know adding a little um, Google map and stuff. Still playing around, but this is just a simple tutorial using contact form seven to create a lead gen uh, page using Socrates and contact form seven. So Hope the video was helpful. Thanks.